happy Friday. Welcome back to another five weekly favorites. It's been a while since we've had time to sit down and film. We needed to do this for you guys. Yes. Yeah. So these are overdue favorites. Um, but Everybody's in LA is our first favorite. It's John Mulaney's Netflix special. And if you haven't watched it yet, he basically had a live talk show for I think seven days total in a row um, during the Netflix is a joke festival. So it's he had a bunch of comedians on and each episode was an hour long and had like a different topic about Los Angeles and they would just sit and chat and it was super chaotic and amazing and we actually got to go to the last show the seventh episode I think there was five episodes I think there was seven okay maybe there was six but more than five I think and the last episode was the future of LA which I really wanted to be food he never did a food episode which yeah is kind of a bummer um but it was definitely the funniest episode and we got to sit in the second row which was unexpected and great. So it was a really good experience. Yeah, and we hadn't really been fans of his. Well, not like we weren't fans, but we just didn't really know his comedy type um, before watching the show. And he's a comedian that I like, like his style of comedy. I think he's really funny and like really personable. So he was a great host as well. Um, but it's really funny. So if you live in LA, you'll like it. I don't know if you would like it if you don't. I know, I think you have to get the comedy. Like I saw mm -hmm. a lot of Reddit comments saying that the thing they liked about it is that it's not, it wasn't structured at all. Like, yeah. and it wasn't buttoned up and there's just so little TV shows like that anymore. And I was like, that's such a good point because I think back in the day when like talk shows and other things were live, mm -hmm. it was a lot more chaotic, but now like everything is scripted. Everything is so buttoned up. There's like never room for sort of this like kind of chaotic television and so if you like that I think you'd like it yeah um and just the fact that it was live there's nothing live anymore at all mm -hmm. I mean Dancing with the Stars technically is for the east coast so that was what made it special as well and he took like calls from people that were watching that were calling in live like the whole thing just felt very like old school and I wish it was on forever because we really enjoyed it and it was real like the mm -hmm. they, on our episode they had two people searching for the guy from Red Hot Chili Peppers what was oh, yeah. in his name but um the they were actual audience members the one yeah. the guy that was in selected i had talked to him in line because i asked him where he parked so they were like real audience yeah. members it wasn't made up yeah it was all very authentic which i think mm -hmm. is what's missing from a lot of the content we consume these days mm -hmm. so overall it was amazing we loved it highly recommend if you haven't seen it okay next up food favorite these are the Trader Joe's Organic Iced Oatmeal Baked Whole Grain Bars. I don't know what these remind me of besides cookie dough. Like, I don't know I mean, how they taste just like the Cliff ones. Okay, they taste like Cliff, but like softer. Like, to me, they're so soft. Like, they almost taste like a fresh baked cookie. I don't know. I tasted it, and I was just blown away by the texture. I feel like the Cliff Bars, from what I remember, we haven't had those in a long time but they were a little more dense and like solid. These are really, really soft and I just wasn't expecting it. And they just taste like an oatmeal cookie. They're incredible. Yeah, to me, they taste exactly like the iced oatmeal kids cliff bars. They're just probably more affordable. Yeah, definitely affordable. And there's another flavor. I'm blanking, maybe chocolate? I don't know. But we didn't get those, so we only got these ones. They're gluten-free? Yeah, they're really good. Like, mm -hmm. highly recommend. I was really shocked by them. And then we also love, we have it in a little baggie because I will say I do not like the wrapper on this. Oh yeah. Um, so this is the Trader Joe's Everything But The Bagel Cheddar Cheese. It's amazing, but they put it in like this weird like shrink wrap, I guess, and it's really hard to open. And then it, the cheese can be a little flaky, so we put it in a bag, um, but it's amazing. It tastes kind of like just like a typical like soft cheddar cheese with a little bit of sharpness. And then it has that like garlicky taste yeah it tastes similar to their unexpected cheddar yeah but it's creamier in texture it doesn't yeah, have it doesn't have the parmesan yeah, it doesn't well maybe it has some parmesan but it doesn't have yeah i don't think so it just says cheddar cheese oh it doesn't have as much of that hard cheese aspect so it's still pretty soft and yeah the everything with the bagel i thought it was gonna be so boring i was like why did they release this Same. and the garlic actually comes through mm -hmm. which is like the creaminess and the sharpness so it's so good it's, amazing. it's such a good I've cheese i've been doing it like the little crackers we buy the simple meals ones with a little bit of that cheese on top and then one of the dill pickle chips and it tastes like a sandwich it's good cheese picked up these jeans from target um what are they called i don't remember what they're called i'll leave them linked they're universal thread I have 
a size zero and they are exactly like the Zara Marine striped jeans that Carly and I have raved about for years and I had I had the tan color in those the black and the denim but our gripe with them forever was like we would buy the size two and they would fit in the leg but be so tight in the waist like mm -hmm. they never fit perfectly and so I ended up um posting like the denim ones and the black ones on Poshmark and I kept the tan but then we got in a laundry machine and it like stained my clothes whatever so I had to get rid of those so I've been looking for a replacement so when I saw these on Target I was like okay I'm gonna grab these because someone said they're similar and they are like even like the quality feels the same they're way cheaper they're like $28 versus the Zara or 50 which is still a good deal um I'm 5'4 and they're like the perfect length and I'll leave a, if I haven't like posted a photo in them yet, I'll leave a photo from the Target website on the screen so you can see how they fit. And they're super high waisted without being like constricting. They're so comfortable. Well, I will say like I gained weight and I tried Brito's on and I still had that same problem where they were like tighter in the waist and bigger on the thighs. So well, I think that's the style. A, yeah, I think that's an issue with all these types of jeans. Yeah, that's the style. But if you're gonna order, maybe order two sizes. Yeah, I ordered two sizes and then went with zero because Target usually runs pretty big. Um, Cause I'm usually, I would say like a two in jeans. And so they run big for sure, but they, they're not as constricting as the Zara ones, a thousand percent. They're like way more comfortable and they're cheaper. So I'm gonna grab them in like the denim, like the grayish denim color too. And I have that like a similar style from Mango, but I like these even more. Like they're really good, especially for the price. On camera, so we had been putting this off, I don't know why, for years. Well, I thought they were expensive, but there was a sale. Yeah, there was a sale. We got it for cheap. We found out it was on sale, good deal. We got it. And I'm sure everyone has a ring camera, but we just wanted to mention it because it's nice to have peace of mind. It's nice to be able to wash the camera even when like a postman is coming to the door for us it's yeah it's super helpful because we're often waiting for packages from like fedex ups mm -hmm. usps yeah um and so all day long we can see like when things have been picked up dropped off um it's just like yeah it gives you peace of mind and the camera we got i'll link the exact one down below it's the cheapest one but we had gotten a gift a gift card from what is the LADWP? LADWP, because we're part of their like power sa savings program, which is actually shocking because I feel like in the summer we run the air conditioning a lot, but according to them, we're like saving energy. So they often send us gift cards. So they sent us a gift card for like, I want to say like $100. And so we were able to get not only the camera, but then we also paid the yearly subscription for like their basic plan. Because they said if you only have one ring, like the yearly subscription is fine. And it's been great. Mm -hmm. Highly recommend. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. We are so sorry we haven't had weekly favorites in a while. We will try to keep up with it and we'll see you in our next one. Bye.